Hello and welcome to the video with me, Wonder Andre, speaking out for you the last time where I fought a war with Russia, if I actually remember correctly, in which I took over the entire country and, yeah, wasn't able to take it over or even really get them as an asshole. Took all the land that they had up here in Scandinavia and stuff, and obviously all this stuff over here, and yeah, that's basically all I was able to take from them. Really didn't feel it's a little feel like that much, but I did get that done, and I also took this portion of Western Africa and everything. Well, I spent like half the previous episode just messing around, getting other countries to go to war with each other, and, cl and kind of try and clean up borders and stuff, which I think I'll try and kind of continue in this episode, I think. Like I got a huge ship over there already doing that to the end of the previous episode. And I think I'm going to be getting China to, like, finish off Pakistan right there. Just get rid of them. I'm not exactly sure about those two, considering I could technically have India deal with those, to be honest. Could do that. But, um, this episode, I'm going to be going after Rwanda and in gold to start things off, I think. Considering I seriously want to continue things over here in Africa. But uh, I need to kind of move these troops here a bit further in. So I can double that amount there. To make things easier for me. For once I'm actually preparing stuff and everything. But um, yeah, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Send ultimatum to Rondo here. Manding all this land. And then do the same thing for Angola. Actually, Angola is most likely actually going to accept it, so no. Okay. So now I'll do it since Rondo did accept. Didn't want to send them one to Angola here just in case Rondo didn't accept, considering they not have this entire border here with Angola that I want to have troops on and stuff. I had to push off the ultimatum, anyways. Guess I wanted, considering they would accept, anyways. Eh, whatever. Um. But yeah, there we go. Egypt, you can take that stuff from them. I really don't care at all about that. And I guess, considering the fact that they accept that, the chances are South Africa will as well, considering I don't think South Africa is that much stronger than Rondo was. So let's take a look and see if they'll accept. Because if they do, this is going to be very anticlimactic here when it comes to Africa. Because they're all just accepting currently. Okay, good. In that case, I'll just be doing province built here. With all this land, and then I'll line troops up on my border with South Africa, and that will be that. I guess I'll be taking Gormos and Week there, Tanzania, and just finishing off some of these other countries around there. And I guess I'll probably take over these little islands, nations that are still over here in the Americas, just to finish them off. And also, Russia now has that bit of the Bahamas, because that's worth Colombia or something, I think. Oh, and Russia's at war China now. Huh. Interesting. You know, I think I want to take advantage of this. Oh, I don't even need to take advantage of it because India is already doing it for me. I don't have to send a trade deal to them. <laughs> That's the reason Russia's at war. They both formed a coalition against China. Nice. Considering I really didn't like how China took all this land over here from India. I really did not like that in the previous episode. But yeah, you're doing it with them by themselves over there, apparently. That's good. So, yeah, I guess I'll just do pro continue the profitability stuff here and take over some small countries and stuff. 
and maybe send an ultimatum to Prune and see if I can get them to give me that land, because that's honestly very annoying. Okay, so I finished province ability. I got all my troops lined up. I had to fight a small worth Prune to get those three provinces they had over here. So yeah, I dealt with all that stuff. Ready to go out to South Africa. Got to Egypt fighting Sudan currently. And um, yeah, China's gone. They're still holding on to this one province currently because India's completely incompetent and can't tank that single province for some reason. But um, yeah, just gotta wait for India to take that province there or wait for Russia or some other country to take it. And then that war will be officially over. But, um, yeah, time for this war of South Africa, who has 20,000 troops sitting right there that I'm going to have to deal with immediately. Great. Um, time for this ultimatum. They still don't accept it. Nice, I guess. Time for the war. Go in and take all of this. Okay, so I've dealt with the stuff that was over there. Just need the troops to continue pushing down, and that'll be dealt with. Don't really seem to be having much resistance on this side or here. And India still hasn't taken that province from China. Seriously, what in the world are you doing, India? Seriously. Right, it's war with Afghanistan, sure, whatever. But you know you could take that single province over here, right? China doesn't even have any troops over here, for fuck's sakes. I know that's because my relations are so good with China, apparently, that I should be able to actually see their army and stuff. And there's nothing there. Which means China has no army and India's not taking the damn province. Hmm. Oh well. Okay, they're putting up quite a bit of resistance over here, surprisingly. They really are. And India, seriously, just take the fucking province already. Seriously. Come on. I have now taken the Cape of Good Hope. Um, Cape, Cape Town. Don't know why in the world it's saying there. The, I think that's probably what that once was called or something as a colony or something. I'm not sure. Ugh. I got that under my control. Just need to finish up all the troops that they got and everything and finish them all. Okay, there we go. 170,000 casualties for me in that war. Damn. There we go. South Africa is under my control, and India still has not taken that province from China. Yeah. <sighs> I guess I can see if I can get Madagascar to accept an ultimatum at this point, I guess. Nice, they accept it. Good. Okay, so then I'm going to be doing province build to get all of this stuff done and I guess finish all that stuff completely. And see about getting Egypt to take over what's left over here, I'm guessing. After they finish off Sudan, I guess. I'll have them finish off those other countries there. And um, yeah, ho during all that I hope that China actually gets finished off, finally. Hopefully. But yeah, just gotta go through and do all that stuff now. Well, got province ability stuff done at this point, and um, yeah. 60,000 troops there, and I'm going to have to figure out exactly what I want to do with, and um, Egypt most 
got most of that stuff done, but Iraq and Australia went toward Egypt, so yeah. I'm not going to be having Egypt take over the last of that stuff until they deal with this. Considering I honestly don't know how this is going to end, considering the fact that with what Iraq controls currently, they are technically stronger than Egypt, I think. Oh, they got a larger population still at this point, because they got population over here in the Nile and stuff. And over there. So, yeah. This is what's left of China at this point. So, yeah. I'm going to have in try and have India take back some more of their land around here and stuff. For now. Um, okay. Okay, Russia's toward Taiwan. So that's what that is, I think. I think that's basically just Taiwan. But, um, yeah. Now toward them and Bhutan and Myanmar, apparently. Huh. Okay. Sure. And over here... Canada's basically been finished off for the most part. This is super annoying that Mexico actually has that stuff up there still. Eh. Germany has that single province too. Now, because they went after Greenland. Yeah. So, Iceland went and took all that. Just the stuff in Greenland. Okay. Sure. Great. It'd be nice if you took the rest of that, but I guess you're not going to be doing that. Sure. Okay, things are looking good currently. Over here, Egypt just got needs to finish off those rebels and stuff, and finish that stuff there. I guess. Yeah, push them out and everything over here. Come on, Egypt. There you kicked out Australia. Good job. Hmm. And at this point, I think I will... Fuck. That bug again. <sighs> damn it. How many countries have been affected by that? Okay, most of them already. Oh well, Canada has got peace with them already. Huh. Okay. Canada and Mexico got peace already. Sure. And Mexico is at worth Iceland now. Great. Just great. I guess I can finish province ability over here with this stuff. For now, I guess. And then I'll see about going after Egypt, which I will take these troops and move them over here. And try and make things a little bit easier for me. You know, I could just go toward them right now. Yeah, sure, why not? I also go toward these other ones here. Well, since I'm... There's no point in not doing that, to be honest. There we go. Now just go in and wipe them out. Okay, so I got most of the Nile under my control at this point already. Going to have the rest of it secured in the next turn, I think. With exceptions of stuff up there. Um, let's see. Really shouldn't be too hard to get all of this done, to be honest. Huh. Mexico's only taking that single province there since last time I looked. Wow. Okay. Not go here, though. Well, the rest of this is getting finished this turn. I just gotta take the Arabian Peninsula from Egypt.
Okay, there we go. That seed chip done. Honestly, it wasn't a very hard war. Which makes sense considering the fact that they lost so much. Considering how long they were fighting Iraq and Australia. There. Just wanted to make sure that Iraq was actually going to be taking that province. There we go. Good. Now I gotta do province ability and get all that stuff done. And I guess I'll be taking Gorkotar, maybe. Um, Barhan there, maybe. I'm not sure. I got those two provinces. It's kind of annoying. But, uh, yeah. Get India to take over some more of these countries, I think. And seriously, why have they not finished this war yet? I t took over the entirety of Egypt while they were doing that, for fuck's sakes. What the hell? Eh, whatever, I guess. Sure. But, um, yeah. Hmm. Canada just got those three provinces left by the looks of it. I... Damn it. I can't send an ultimatum to them because of the fucking bug. I really want to take Iceland. Because I honestly do not want Mexico to have Iceland. But I can't do anything about that because I got no troops. Eh, damn it. Gotta recruit some troops over here. First. There. Iceland is now mine. You are not taking that, Mexico. So, um, yeah, at this point I'll just do province build to get that stuff done, and then I guess that might be the end of this episode at this point. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but yeah, deal with province build and yeah, I guess I'll be the end of the episode there. Russia still toward Taiwan? Seriously? Yeah. Okay, so I'm basically done at this point. Um, United States just got peace with Canada, so Canada only has these three provinces left. So yeah, there's that. Mexico is at war with Peru now, because Mexico decided to go to war with them. Seriously, Mexico is being very aggressive. They went to war with Canada, they went to war with Iceland, and now they're, they went to war with Peru. Mexico is being very aggressive for some reason. China went to war with India again. So I guess my hopes of China getting destroyed are gone. <sighs> May as well have China finish off the rest of that stuff we're here, I guess. Eventually, at least. Russia still hasn't finished off Taiwan or here. But, uh, yeah. Also took over the Maldives there just because... And yeah. Next episode, I honestly don't really know what I'm going to be doing. I could be going and taking the rest of the Middle East, going after Vietnam there, and dealing with Iraq. Not exactly sure, but if I did that, I think I'd probably be going after Pakistan and also then Russia. And I'm not really sure if I want to be dealing with Russia yet again. I could easily deal with them. But if I don't do that, I'll probably be going into the Americas. I'm not sure about that either, so... Yeah. Considering I'm thinking of having United States, getting United States and Mexico to go to war with each other there. So, yeah. I'm really not sure. But, yeah. That's there is the end of this video. So, yeah. I hope you've all enjoyed it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.